Welcome to the Windows 8 channel and today we're going to look at something that popped up actually this week. Uh, last week, April 14th, Tuesday, April 14th was Patch Tuesday and we had a certain number of uh, important updates for security reasons. Uh, no bad updates in there, doesn't seem to have caused any trouble. But this week, uh, interesting, lots of optional updates have popped up. And um, I've st actually stumbled upon an article on Paul Tarot's website, tarot.com, where uh, he's talking about these optional updates. So it uh, kind of made me a little curious, and I went to see for myself, and behold, when I go to Windows Update in my computer, all these 21 optional updates are available and they are optional so it means that you don't have to do them and I was just curious what do they fix so here's a kind of a rundown of pretty much what these updates fix um, if you are intrigued and want to apply them first of all I would advise everyone if your computer is running fine and you have absolutely no problems I'm not really sure you should apply these updates even though they might actually be okay and not cause any trouble you know what when a computer works well that saying of if it ain't broke don't fix it really really applies on computers so if it doesn't if, if your computer works well uh, you know, just don't apply any of those and leave them in the optional. You don't have to install them anyway. But uh, what these updates fix, well, there's a few things. There's one that's called Secure Channel Improvement for Windows 8.1. It improves the secure channel for eight, Windows 8.1, whatever that means. <coughs> Sorry. One, it will correct error 0x0000009f stop error when a Windows based computer has two USB devices connected so if you plug two USB devices and you get a blue screen of that or an error 0x0009f it might mean that you need to apply these updates uh, another error that it actually fixes apparently is stop error 0009F when you use the Bluetooth hands free audio and call control HID enumerator and driver in Windows 8.1. So if you have, you know, problems with your Bluetooth that causes an error called driver power state failure 0009F error, then you might want to actually install some of these updates or all of these updates. Another error that it fixes, paired text is not translated correctly in Korean when you disconnect a paired Bluetooth device. Another error it fixes, description cannot be found error in the events log in the event viewer. So if you've got um, an error message and you went to the event viewer and you looked at the event log and it said description cannot be found, that fixes that. Uh, it fixes Microsoft, Microsoft Project Silena crashes when you use galleries in the application in Windows. Um, if you use a narrator and you notice that when you use the control key, you press the control key, the narr narr narrator um, um, has a problem or does not stop reading, well, there's one here that fixes that. Narrator does not stop reading when you press control key in Windows. Another one is about photos taken by certain Android devices show blank value and date taken field in Windows Explorer. Another one is cannot access DPAPI data after an administrator resets your password on a Windows Server 2012 or Windows 8 domain controller. Another one is for UHS3 cards cannot be detected in Windows on Surface devices. So uh, apparently some of these updates are for Surface. Another one is you cannot do system image backup to Blu-ray media in Windows. So if you have an issue with that, um, update to enable the diagnostics tracking service in Windows 8.1. So apparently it uh, enables the diagnostics tracking and um, which is 
simply sending out to Microsoft information about what's happening in your Windows when it crashes, for example. There's an update uh, to the copy of the cmitrust.dll file, fixes an issue in Windows Server 2008 and proves the copy uh, of that file in Windows 8.1. It has the input personalization.exe process crashes in Windows. There's another one for automatic brightness option is disabled unexpectedly after you switch between PC settings pages in Windows. And finally, there's another one that's update to support copying.mkv files to Windows Phone from a computer that is running Windows. So um, this is apparently a parcel lift. Uh, list, sorry, and um, so, you know, if you have one of these issues, it might be interesting to actually update. Personally, I think that if you have zero issues with your Windows machine, um, I wouldn't touch them, you know, like I don't have any problems with any Windows option here I don't have uh, you know anything wrong with my USB when I plug two devices don't get any blue screen blue screens uh, don't have any freezes so um, personally I will not apply any of those I'll just keep them in the optional folder here and uh, I think everybody that has a perfectly working system should do the same but uh, if you have issues with Windows 8.1, you know, uh, this is just a partial list of what I've talked here. Uh, if you have some issues with Windows 8.1, uh, maybe applying these updates can fix some of those issues. So uh, why not try it, you know, if you have problems. Um, it's always fun if you can have an update that fixes something. So a bunch of optional updates are available. And uh, if any of you guys have actually installed them, uh, maybe you can share with us if everything's okay, if it all went well. And, um, you know, be careful about it. I, I have a lot of clients that are like that. They're kind of, I say, um, I would say, uh, update freaks that they have to install every updates that they see. Um, you know, don't go crazy. Optional updates are optional. So uh, maybe you should wait at least before you apply them. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe something about Windows 8 you'd like us to talk about, let us know. And thank you for watching our videos.